Go back to Bolsonaro, the, the current president. There are grave concerns that if he loses, that the military will side with him. Is there a possibility, as you heard from the Supreme Court, the leader of the Supreme Court there, a possibility of a coup? Well, there have been lots of ambiguous signals sent by the generals who, again, uh, have benefited tremendously from uh, Bolsonaro's time in office. There's now uh, an unprecedented number of of, uh, military, even also lots of generals in leading positions of government. Uh, That involves a lot of perks, financial perks also. Uh, And some say that the military doesn't really uh, want to reject outright uh, Bolsonaro's claims about supposed vulnerabilities of the electoral system because they want to negotiate basically with the new incoming government and say we will accept the transition provided that we can retain the numerous benefits that we have accumulated under Bolsonaro. But there's certainly some anti-democratic currents uh, among uh, Brazil's armed forces which still celebrate the military dictatorship. Uh, So there hasn't been Uh, As I said, this sort of uh, clean break that we've seen in countries like Argentina, uh, where the armed forces now are very explicit and say we never want to govern again and that the dictatorship has been a terrible time. Uh, So actually it's a bit up in the air. Lots of people are concerned about what could happen if there's a very close result. And the armed forces in several cases have actually shared some of Bolsonaro's bogus concerns uh, and have pressured the electoral court to you know, uh, allow some kind of parallel uh, counting mechanism, and I think that you know, we certainly is the potential uh, for you know, post or pre or post election chaos, and what the army says will certainly be important, and the military police also, which uh, officially uh, is part of, of uh, Brazil's state, so the governors oversee the military police, but they're also. Uh, are certainly rife with anti-democratic sentiment. Supreme Court Justice, who heads the Brazilian uh, Superior Election Court, co- said, quote, we may experience an episode even more severe than the January 6th attack on the Capitol. He said that back in July uh, uh, 2022. And here we are um, hearing from some of the voters in the streets that you heard from Issa Suarez there saying he's taking a, uh, Bolsonaro is taking a page out of Donald Trump's playbook questioning the election, questioning the electronic voting uh, machines, questioning uh, how things are, are going. What influence do you think Donald Trump has on these tactics being used by Bolsonaro? Trump has been an inspiration of Bolsonaro, but uh, it's also very much a product of Brazilian history in a long, uh, influence, long-standing influence of the armed forces in Brazilian politics. So that's in a way uh, not new, but uh, several of Bolsonaro's allies including one of his sons, has actually said uh, after January 6th that with better planning, the invaders, the Trump-supporting invaders, could have achieved their aims. And Bolsonaro has been one of the the last uh, presidents to congratulate Biden. He has, until recently, even during the Biden presidency, echoed fraud claims voiced by Donald Trump. Now, I do think that for Brazil's case, a January 6th scenario wouldn't actually be that bad because the transition did take place and the major advantage that the United States has, that U.S. democracy has over Brazil's uh, democracy is that, you know, there's really never been any doubt about the pro-democracy credentials of the United States armed forces. The advantage of Brazil is that the electoral system is is much more sophisticated and differently from the United States, the electoral court is set to announce the final result on the day of the election. So that makes questioning the result also somewhat more difficult, I would say. But there's certainly a significant risk that Brazil will uh, live through its own version of January 6th. Oliver Stonecoles, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much.